this would certainly be something right here. So, according to this article, the Ravens are interested and rumored to be interested in Washington Commanders Chase Young. That would certainly be a significant move right there. You know what, Eric DaCosta? Eric DaCosta definitely ain't afraid to pull no defensive trade for a big-name player. We'll see if he continues that this year. Because remember, over the past couple of years, like last year was Roquan Smith. A couple years ago was Calais Campbell. A couple years ago was Yannick Ngakwe, even though it didn't work out. A couple years ago was Marcus Peters. So Eric DaCosta ain't afraid to pull the trigger. We'll see if he does it with this. Now, uh, before we get into this, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on because, as y'all can tell, it's always something going on. These Ravens are nonstop. The news with the Ravens is nonstop. The news with the NFL is nonstop. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Now, before we get into this specific video, too, Got to give a special shout out to Live Raven Nation on Twitter because they were the ones that brought this to all of our attention because they are somebody that every day they keep Ravens fans updated for what's going on uh, in the world of the Baltimore Ravens. So follow them on Twitter so you can stay updated with them as well. Shout out to that account. Now, this article, it came from uh, touchdownwire.usatoday.com and it was titled Five NFL Stars Who Could and Should be traded in the 2023 season. So I know y'all don't care about the other players that it listed, but let's get straight to Washington Commanders Edge, Chase Young. And it says, there have already been murmurs about the former number two overall pick being dealt. With Washington not picking up Young's option, several teams have been rumored to be interested, including the Steelers and the Ravens. Ah. However, with Pittsburgh extending Alex Highsmith, the likelihood of them going after Young is slim to none. See, that's what I like to hear. I, I, I love hearing stuff like that. Like, oh, this is a reason why this team, they may be interested, but they probably ain't going to make the move. So that would open up and clear up space for the Baltimore Ravens. But let's continue. Says that leaves Baltimore and it would fit their MO like a glove. We've seen the Ravens bring in veteran pass rushers and defensive linemen before. Elvis Dumaville, Yannick Ngakwe, Justin Houston, and Calais Campbell. And they have a need at the position. Of course, other teams like the Colts or even the Bears could be in on the 2020 Defensive Rookie of the Year. But keep your eyes on Baltimore as a potential landing spot should Washington move him during the season. Now, that would be something right there. Now, something that I was thinking about while uh, going over that, timing is everything. Obviously, training camp getting ready to come up. But the Baltimore Ravens, they're going to be doing joint practices with a certain somebody. A certain team coming up very, very soon. That team being the Washington Commanders. So if this is legitimate, um, then I think around that, around that period of time could be when a trade could happen. Reason being because the Baltimore Ravens and the Washington Commanders, they're going to be up close and personal with each other. The Ravens, if they are that interested in a Chase Young, they're going to be able to get to see him, see how he's looking up close, see how he's practicing, see how he plays. And I would think it would be after the preseason game against the Washington Commanders. It would be sometime after that that a trade could get done because we know these things happen like that, too. If a team is interested in a player and it just so happens that they practice it, like remember what it happened in a different scenario, but with, like with Calais Campbell in the Pro Bowl. Ravens and a, play, a lot of Ravens made it to the Pro Bowl that year. Calais Campbell was there. He was around the team, around the vibe and whatnot. They were like, oh, we really like this guy. They get to talking and whatnot. They get to flirting a little bit, and then boom. What happens? Ravens traded for Calais Campbell. But stuff like that, it, it happens. So that would be the time. If the Ravens do make the move, that would be around the time frame I think it would go down. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. But with Chase Young, um, let's look at Chase Young's numbers. Uh, he was drafted in 2020. So it hasn't been long. He hasn't been around for too long. Um, and in 2020, he got seven and a half sacks as a rookie. So, like, okay, nice, nice, nice. Seven and a half sacks as a rookie, defensive rookie of the year. Um, and he, he's from D.C. So, I mean, if he played for the Ravens, I mean, it wouldn't be too far. Anyway, um, then the following year, well, the following two years, uh, he only got a one and a half sack. But he also has missed a lot of time. So, he missed a significant amount of time. So, that would be um, my big fear with Chase Young. Uh how healthy is he? But again, they're getting ready to have the training camp together. So Ravens will get to see exactly how healthy he is or isn't, but hopefully is. So if you add a Chase Young, a healthy Chase Young to the Baltimore Ravens, mm, think about that. Like think about the quality and think about the depth that the Ravens would have. 
Uh, you have a Chase Young. You have a David Ajabo. You have an Adafe away. Uh, and that, like, Chase Young will certainly improve the Baltimore Ravens defense, their pass rush immediately. Uh, and you can never have enough good pass rushes. Never, ever. Especially in what is a passing league. Uh, now, with Chase Young, say, for instance, the Ravens did trade for him. What would you be getting from Chase Young? Uh, how would he be feeling? I think it would be very scary and very dangerous in a good way uh, if the Ravens traded for Chase Young because I'm sure he's motivated already. He ain't got to be traded to be motivated already. I'm sure uh, just him being in the NFL gives him motivation enough, him wanting to just show up and show out. He's motivated enough. But him having dealt with these injuries the past two years, that would give you extra motivation. Like, man, let me show these boys I could, what I could do because they must have forgot. Oh, I'm going to be healthy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got it. Watch this. But then... On top of that, if he got traded, he'd be like, oh, y'all traded me? Washington, they, oh, y'all y'all traded? Okay, let me let me show y'all why that was a mistake. Let me show y'all. He could also be one to prove like, oh, y'all didn't pick up my fifth-year option. Okay, you didn't pick up my fifth-year option. All right, watch this. Let me show you why it was a mistake on your part. You could have saved a lot of money if you would have picked up that fifth-year option, but you didn't. Oh, okay, cool. Watch this. I'm going to show you. And then on top of that, with his fifth-year option not picked up, he is on a four-year deal instead of the five. So that means he can actually get paid sooner. So he'll be playing for that bread. He'll be playing for his money. And you know, like, when players are playing for their money, ooh, they, they turn it up another level, man. And I get it. Like, some people say, oh, man, what, do they only play for the money? Is that their only motivation? It may not be, but it's certainly a big motivation. Like, when, when, when you up, you've been working at your job for a little while, and you up for a raise. Do you not show out a little bit extra? Do you not put in a little extra work? D do you? D don't tell me you don't. Because I know you do. But it's the same thing with them. They already been putting in work. But now you about to get a raise. Oh, so you like, oh, you know what? Let me go a little even harder with this. So with Chase Young, he would have all the motivation in the world. And that would make him a dangerous, scary Chase Young. On top of already how dangerous and scary he is. So that, that would be nice. Now, if the Ravens were to trade for a Chase Young, he wouldn't be coming for free. You got to give up something to get what you want. And with Chase Young, despite him having the injuries and whatnot, the, in, the recent injury history, you know the commanders, they're going to want something good for him. They're going to want something significant for him. Even though it seems like the two are going to be heading in another direction. Uh, well, well, could it be one of those things where they'd be like, hey, we take what we can get? I would, ooh, I would love that. But I don't think it would, especially if he there was a sort of bidding war between multiple teams for his services. Now, first round draft pick. No, I don't think so. I wouldn't do a first round draft pick. I'd even be hesitant to do a second round pick. But third and change. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. You can have it. Third. I mean, maybe even a second, but third and change. It's, it's all yours. Take it. Now, if he's healthy, if the Ravens get a good look at him and training camp and stuff when they have the joint practices and he's completely healthy, ain't no limp, ain't no problems, ain't no setbacks. He's completely healthy. Oh, second round pick, throw it at him. You got, take it. It's yours. If he's completely healthy, yeah, I'll take it. You could have it. But that's just me. That's just me. I know I'm sure it's going to be somebody. Well, hey, I'm glad you're not the Ravens GM, buddy. Well, okay, well, I am too. That's a lot of stress. Eric Nikasi had that job, man. But um, anyway, I, I would do that. But um, as far as players, oof, that's where it's a little tricky. Because who would you give up for Chase Young if a player even had to be involved? Because me, I want to keep everybody. I want to keep all the players. I want all the players to stay this year. I don't want nobody getting traded nowhere. But I know NFL is a business, so you can't always keep everybody. Now, the one that got suggested from that Bleacher Report article was Patrick Queen. And like I told you all before, that would be a no for me. And even if, if, if they revisited that and it was still Patrick Queen, I would still say no. Because of availability. Chase Young has been a significant amount of time, especially over these past two years. Patrick Young, that's one of his best traits that we don't even talk about enough. The man is always there. He's always playing. He's always healthy. You can say a lot of things about how you feel about Patrick Queen, but you can never talk bad about how healthy he's been. Every week, you're going to see that number six. Well, before it used to be 48. Every week, you're going to see that on the field. Every single week. Patrick Queen, a lot of the things that we talked about with Chase Young... They would also go with Patrick Queen. That's another reason why I wouldn't want to get rid of Patrick Queen. He's playing for his bread. 
Patrick, it's so many people that feel like Patrick Queen, he oh, he can't hold down that Mike linebacker spot. He can't be the guy at inside linebacker, off ball linebacker. I, like nice little term to learn from y'all. Appreciate y'all. But Patrick Queen, he, a lot of people doubt him. But even with the doubters, like forget that. You were trying to get paid. You just watched this dude, the Ravens traded for and got like eight games out of him. Well, nine with the playoffs. But you just watched him trade for Roquan Smith and Ravens paid. He was on the team for three days. They paid him $100 million. You've been on the team for three years and they ain't paid you yet. Well, this will be his third year, but you get what I'm saying. No, Patrick Queen, 2020, 2021, 2020. So, yeah, three years. So, this will be his fourth year. So yeah, with with that, that's that's like that's motivation enough. Like man, y'all just got him in y'all paper. All right, okay. I'm gonna show you better than I can tell you. They drafted a linebacker who a lot of people thought could possibly take your spot. Oh, y'all drafted? Oh, okay. Well, I, okay, I got y'all. So why not? Patrick Queen got all the reason to be motivated in the world. Now another thing that goes in Patrick Queen's favor: last year him and Roquan Smith they look good together. They almost look great. They didn't have an offseason together. They didn't even have a full season together. But this season, they can have both. So even more reason for Patrick Queen to go out there and just kill it, man. So for those reasons alone, I would not include Patrick Queen as part of a trade for Chase Young. I, I just wouldn't and couldn't. And I don't think the Ravens should. But if the Ravens are to acquire Chase Young, what or who would they give up? I have no clue. But again, this is all just... A rumor We'll see if it comes to fruition Again y'all remember that timeline Watch for when the, the Ravens practice with the Commanders Cause that's again After that after that practice all that joint practice is over And the preseason game is over That's when I think a trigger could be pulled If a trigger is going to even be pulled But we'll see when we see Anyway team keep it clean I love y'all I appreciate y'all Make sure you subscribe to the channel Turn your notifications on and leave a like on the video And we out